Nerdbugger here and welcome back to my channel. It's very nice to see you all. It's been a little while. Don't worry. I've got two videos coming your way and one of them is showing you a whole bunch of toys that I bought recently, which everybody loves. Everybody loves, including me. I love looking at toys and I buy too many toys. This time I've got all kinds. I've got a statue. I've got some modern toys, vintage toys and some handmade toys. So let's start this thing off with a bang with a little fellow from Sesame Street. You may have seen these fellows walking around Sesame Street. It is a Sesame Street honker. This little Muppet is an absolute delight from 1992, made by applause and given to me by my husband as a little surprise. And if you're wondering, yes, still honks, amazing. I love his little tuba headphones up here and his fluffy little hairdo. I don't know where I'm gonna fit it, but that's fine, we'll make room. And I just love him, I love anything Muppets. I should really make a shelf that's just Muppets, now that I think about it, because I have a whole Muppets place that I can't fit anywhere, so it's kind of just sitting near the record player for the moment, but anyway, for the moment. New honker, super soft, super lovely, and I'm very, very glad to own them. Last week, we hit the toy stores hard. We were all around, I bought so many toys, I spent way too much money and had such a good day. And one of the toys that I picked up was this 2000s Playmates Barney from Simpsons. I'm collecting Simpsons Playmates toys as well as anything older Simpsons from the 90s. They're really hard to find and really expensive, the older 90s ones. And maybe like two or three figures. I really want something on that lime green hot pink cardboard it's so iconic to me and makes me think maybe that's why I'm so obsessed with that color combo in my house and just everything but anyway Barney super delightful these all came with such great accessories and were also interactive so on the bottom they have this little thing and you sit them on the play sets stick their little foot in there and press the button on the playset and they talk. It's the coolest thing ever. I only have two playsets so far. Um, one is Treehouse of Horrors and the other one was gifted to me which was lovely and it's a crusty burger and it's great. So I got this Barney. I haven't actually tested out what he says so I'll do that when I film the close-ups of him uh, and he comes with a little beer and a little sanger so he's gonna have a nice time at the bar. Oh Barney! What a sweetie! Whenever I see Barney, I always think of that sad movie he made in the episode. John, don't kill me, I'm already dead. Something like that. Super sad. Another toy I picked up on that magical shopping day was this a modern Mego of Killer Clowns from Out of Space. I got it from a really great toy store called Retro Nightmares in St Kilda. If you've never been, it's amazing. They painted their front like the Castle Grayskull. And it's all horror and kind of retro toys, but they really focus on horror, which makes me super happy. Um, hello, Retro Nightmares, if you're watching this, pick this guy up. He is super bendy, like every Mego. You can do cool poses, and I like to keep all my Migos on the shelves behind me. We have some boys having kisses up there. There's a fly, there's this Toxic Avenger up there. And now I can add this little guy. I'm so happy I only own one other Killer Clowns from Outer Space toy, which cost me so much money and they're so expensive usually. So this is the closest I'm gonna get to those old school, late 90s Killer Clowns figures. D a delight. And can I say, why do they have uh, little removable shoes? Totally unnecessary, but perhaps he wants to wear Barbie shoes. I can put little Barbie shoes on there. Really like how these are made and I really like how bendy and friendly they look. It's something about this pose. I think when you put their leg like this and they're having a nice time, that's really pleasant. We went to this random, random, we went to this random vintage market arcade thing where there's all these little stores and they have all this random stuff and one person was selling like all these goth toys, like teen me toys and I picked up a filler bunny which I've put somewhere, I have no idea where it is, that's how unorganised my toys are. Maybe Liam put it up somewhere, I don't know, I'll have to find it. But I also picked up this, the floaty bear thing. This is very very exciting for many reasons. First of all, it's the floaty bear thing and it's made by my first real love, I really thought I was going to marry this person, Roman Dirge. I used to be so obsessed with him, he's the creator of Lenore, which was my favourite comic for so so long. That's what my first sleeve was going to be, Lenore. It's going to have a whole sleeve of it. And I had a shirt of Lenore and the tag of it had this, this was the tag, and I kept it in my wallet because I loved him so much and I wanted to look at it all the time and I thought it was super super hot. So, 
Fun times. Um, and this is actually signed by Roman Dirge on the box and the toy maker, which is just amazing. It was so cheap. I think it was like $30 at this vintage market, still in box, great condition. It's got super cool Roman Dirge art on the back and you're meant to like press this and he wiggles. Oh, amazing. Oh, look at him go. It doesn't really do much. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited. It's got Roman Dirge's signature on it and you know, I'm never gonna meet the guy. I don't think he tours or does anything really anymore. It makes me sad, but he was my teen goth, true love, and I'm gonna make a whole cabinet for all my little goth toys, like Nightmare Before Christmas, Corpse Bride, Lenore, Tim burton -y stuff. Maybe the labyrinth can go in there, but I'm just really excited to own this. Would you like to meet a little friend who I haven't named yet? So you can put in the comments down below what you think their name should be. But here they are. This cost me 50 cents at the op shop, which is just crazy because it's worth a million dollars. And you couldn't put a price on how good this is. Don't know what it is. Kind of looks like an egg. It's got little wiggly legs. It's all crocheted and little wiggly arms and little frilly neck thing and a hat with a pom-pom on it and googly eyes. And you're like, Kaz, that's the best thing I've ever seen. And you know what's going to make it even better? Whoa! It's a money box. Someone got a juice jug and cut a hole in it and I can store all my coins because people still use cash now in here forever. I just love it so gosh darn much. I love toys that aren't branded and just have cute little faces, especially like 60s and 70s plush toys, like little rats and things with weird faces. And I just think he's delightful. 50 cents! 50 cents! Look at this happy face. He kind of looks like Humpty Dumpty from Play School, if you're in Australia. Also on my toy shopping extravaganza where I spend too much money, Liam was wandering around by himself and found this. A Marzing statue. It's by Marvel. It's a gentle giant squirrel girl statue. Now these usually go for like a hundred bucks, and that's brand new, a hundred dollars. And for some reason it was only thirty dollars. Nobody likes Squirrel Girl apparently, except me, still, forever in my heart. She's the character I relate to most in the whole wide world. Uh, she's super great. Squirrel Girl statue. I took it out. It's already been up on the shelf, and here it is. Not only is it a super cute squishy version, kind of looks like Scotty Young, I forgot, his art. <laughs> I forgot his name for a second. Scotty Young's art, and so squishy, but it's also flocked. Like her tail is actually flocked and fluffy, which is amazing. Why was this only $30? I will never get that good a deal, apart from my 50 cent little blobby monster in my life. Look at that cute little face. If you knew, you've never read The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, she beats Galactus with the power of friendship. That's the best kind of superheroism. We were at a different vintage market like months ago, months ago, and I saw this toy and I'd never seen it before. It's from 2001 by Universal Monsters, so it's an official product. And it's this amazing Bella Lugosi Dracula. Holy moly. The detail on this thing is just next level, and it was only like $70, which I just feel is a really good price for this amazing toy. It has a cloth cape. I re-sewed the little bit so it sits really nicely on his neck. It's got a kick-ass bat up there. Look out for Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, and he usually has a candelabra, but I've left that in the cabinet. And then it's got his nameplate down the bottom here. I put him there. Okay, I know he's from Star Wars, but I just thought he fitted there. And the sculpt, like it looks exactly like Bella Lugosi. Like, amazing sculpt, amazing detail. I love the base, how he's kind of stepping off. Oh my god, it just takes my breath away. It's such a beautiful, beautiful toy. And it was just so random. Like, this market just has, like, ceramic things from the 50s. And, I mean, that's cool. I don't know why I said it like that. But it just has, like, normal people collectibles. And then there was this amazing Dracula toy slash like statue. Thank you, thrifting gods, or thank you, toy hunting gods, because it wasn't really thrifty. I paid a lot of money for it. I recently read this graphic novel here, and it's a collection of all the Batman from the 1950s, and it's like my favourite, 50s and 60s is my favourite Batman. There's Biff Bam Kapows, the villains are over the top, it's so fun, he has really high morals and is always trying to do the right thing, he's not sitting around sucking 
all the time. He's just trying to do better for other people and not sucking. I hate the new Batman movie, by the way, in case you're wondering. Bop, bop, bop. Sidetracked, got this Batman at Aaron's. It's super gay and purple, which makes me so happy. It's used in a set of like five different colors, and I hope so much that I can afford and buy all the different colors one day. But for now, I just got purple Batman, and he makes me very, very happy. I love, love, love this silly little happy face. And I'm going to put him in front of all my Batman comics. Yay! That's how I feel. Yeah! <laughs> and lastly, I wanted to share with you a very special toy made by my friend, Kane underscore Melbourne on Instagram, who's an amazing tattoo artist and does all my tattoos for me. But better than that, right? He's just so good at tattooing. But it's also so good at being a friend. Like a wonderful person. And he's so good at making kick-ass toys. He made this for Liam and I want to show it to you. He takes parts of other toys, casts them, in this he's got like a lime green and then he melts crayons into it to make these super cool orangey bits. Amazing. Uh, and made us this toxic Avenger slash Hemen. And I just love it. He has cool colors, perfect toxy colors with that orange and green. He's got a super cool squid arm, octopus arm. How cool is that? I love it so flippin' much. And it had like, you know, you can move his little waist. And I just think he did such an amazing job. I love that it's see-through. I love that no one else has this because it was a gift for us. And I'm hoping that he'll go and sell things soon because he's been working really hard making them all. All these amazing characters, the ones with like lizard heads and dinosaur heads, they're so flipping amazing. So check out Kane underscore Melbourne on Instagram and maybe he'll make an Instagram, I keep telling him to, for just his toys so he can sell them. But is this not amazing? I love it so much. It's so special and cute. Anything Toxic Avenger I love and anything made by a friend I love even more. So that's all my magical dollies that I've gotten recently. That's a lie. That's a dang lie. That's some of the dollies I've gotten recently that I found that I want to show you because they're all put on different shelves. And I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know which one's your favorite down below and tell me what you've been picking up lately. What are you really obsessed with getting? For me, it's The Simpsons. I want all those Simpsons playmates. I already have maybe 20, but I'll need a million. They made like every single character. And the next one I want is Milhouse. He's a bit more spenny. He's like $45, so I've held off. Anyway, I hope you guys are really well. I love you a lot. I'm in the middle of filming a vlog today as well, so I'll put that up pretty soon. And I just hope you have a really nice day. Love you. Bye!